Shema, wait, wait. We started with giving and respect about our mother tongue and a glory battery about our school. But something is missing. I'll tell you, Yalni, we are thrilled to welcome you to an enchanting evening of grace, rhythm and artistic expression. Get ready to be mesmerized as our talented dancers are going to take the stage, weaving a story through their movement to invoke God. Are you going to dance? No, our Terpsy Korean are going to rock the stage. Welcome Terpsy Korean.
You showed us great facial expressions. They matched with the music. It was a lovely song choice and choreography. Thank you for your accomplishment. Some people change the people. In that way, we would like to thank Mrs. Truthi and her team for this Navarasa expression. Do you like snow? Yes. Who does in Veda? So now, shall we bring this evening to touch up this snow? Yeah, that sounds great. Let's welcome our twinkling angels to shiver this make us shiver with their chillness performance. Welcome angels. Welcome angels. I Kuru Nadagatin Molam, Kandigalipoma. There lived a beautiful queen whose greatest wish to have a daughter. I wish I had a child of my own, a beautiful daughter, a skin as white as snow, and legs as red as rose and half black as gold. It wasn't long before the queen's wish come true. She gave birth to a beautiful little girl she named Snow White. and died when Snow White was very little. Snow White's father, the king, eventually remarried. His new wife, the queen, came to live with him and Snow White in the castle. The new queen was very beautiful, but she was a proud and cruel woman. In her room, she had a magical talking mirror and every morning she would stand before it and ask the same question. Magical mirror, tell me, who is the fairest of them all? The magical mirror would always speak the truth and tell the queen that she was the fairest. You you are my queen, you are the fairest of them all. The queen was always pleased with the magical mirror's answer because she knew that the mirror could never tell a lie. The years passed and Snow White grew to a beautiful young woman. Everyone admired Snow White's beauty. Her skin was as white as snow. Her lips as red as a rose.
and her hair as black as coal, just as her mother had wished for. One morning, the wicked queen approaches the mirror and asks again, Magical mirror, tell me who is the fire of the demon? The wicked queen's great shock. The magical mirror had a different answer for her the day. Snow White, Snow White, Snow White is the fairest of them all. The magical mirror only speak the truth and she grew envious of Snow White. So one day when the king was away, the wicked queen called Hunter to her chambers. You will take Snow White to the forest and get rid of her and bring back lock of hair for me. The hunter took Snow White to the forest where they came to cliff. He prepared to push Snow White off the slope, but when he saw how loving she was, he stopped himself. Princess Snow White, your stepmother, the wicked queen, has asked me to get rid of you, but I don't have heart to hurt you. Please stay here in the forest and never return back to the kingdom. The hunter then leaves Snow White in the forest. 
but he made sure to cut a lock of hair first. The hunter returned to the castle and presented the lock of hair to the wicked queen. Ha 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 ha! That's not right, it's gone, and I'm the first of them all. Wandering through the forest, Snow White came upon a tiny cottage near some mountains. She entered the cottage and found a delicious meal laid out on the table. Seven little plates, they are full with delicious food. Snow White was so hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. I want all delicious food over here. How the seven little plates are here? I think seven children living in this house. I think I'll take a nap until they come back. Wait, exactly. Snow White fell fast asleep. The house belongs to seven dogs. They were mice who worked in the mountains. And when they returned in the evening, they realized that someone was in their house. Someone ate a food. Someone sleeping on their beds. Snow White hear the dogs and woke up. She told them who she was and what was happening. My stepmother will kill me if I go back to the castle. The seven dwarfs were very kind to Snow White. Yeah.
then they offered to let her to stay in their house. You can stay with us, but you must be home here again. Snow White enjoyed living with the doves. They were very kind to her and she felt quite safe and happy with them. Since the hunter had given the wicked queen the lock of hair, so she believed that Snow White was dead. She was very surprised when she went to the magical mirror again. Snow White, Snow White, Snow White is the fairest of them all. The wicked queen couldn't believe her eyes when the magical mirror showed her that Snow White was still alive. So the wicked queen was angry that she decided to get rid of Snow White herself. I must go and get rid of Snow White. The wicked queen first disguised herself as an old beggar. Then she took a poison apple and went to the doves house. Snow White was all alone when the wicked queen came to the house. Hello, is anyone home? I am poor old woman and I'm feeling very cold. Can I come in for a little while? You poor thing, please come in. Snow White fell for the wicked queen's trick and let her into the house. You are very kind. Please Accept this apple as a token of my thanks, my love. Please take a bite of the apple and tell me how you like it. Snow White did not recognize the wicked queen. And so she innocently took a big bite of the apple. Oh, my head! The apple put Snow White into a deep sleep. And I'm the first of them all. When the doves returned, they saw Snow White lying cold and still. Oh no! Something happened to Snow White! Look the reason! Apple here! Oh no! The Wicked Queen must have been here! The apple looks like it has been poisoned. I hope it doesn't kill her. The poor doves couldn't stop crying. They carried Snow White to the top of the mountain. They waited by her side. Sometime later, a kind and handsome prince came by. What are you doing? He saw Snow White and was taken back by her beauty. What a beautiful young lady. But why she is looking so pale and cold? The warmth from the prince's heart woke Snow White up. The prince and the seven doves were very happy to see Snow White wake up. They took a very good care of her and nursed her. The prince then asked Snow White to marry him. Princess Snow White, will you marry me? Yes, by all means. When the wicked queen heard that Snow White was still alive, she floated to home her again. But the prince and the seven doves were ready before she could act. They replaced the queen's shoe with a magical pair that never stopped walking. Oh no! Where am I going?